Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys have requested in um, my previous um, tutorials, and like by that I mean there's the legacy one and there's one that I made like around two months ago. And so today somebody asked in a comment that how does this admin thing really work? Uh, it's really, really, really simple. I was like digging in for hours. And I was like, how, how does it work anyway? It's really simple. So I decided to not only showcase how to how to type in admin chat, but uh, also how like, uh, you know, server management kind of works. I mean, although me personally, I don't really use a uh, server hosting, even though that, it, you know, it's, um, it's pretty decent. Hey, I mean, it's better than a lot of other Steam games out there that requires you to do very sophisticated LAN connections that I'm, that I'm guessing you guys don't know about. So, anyways, guys, if you guys find my tutorials and my other si uh, sort of videos helpful, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. We are approaching 600 subscribers. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for the support you've been uh, showing me these days. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay, so... Um, as you can see, we're on a new uh, custom map here. If you guys want to know how to download custom maps and upload them into your Rick Riggs engine, then comment down below. Anyways, it's very, very simple. So you press J or whatever button is that is uh, to your chat. So like there, you press J. You see it's global, you press tab. It's on the very far left of your keyboard. You press tab and you know, it's admin. You know, it's, 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 this, it's as simple as that. Um, because I've heard that apparently this was supposed to be a feature where you can actually add admins. But I guess it's not in the core game yet, I heard. It's more like a UI. So if you're the owner, you can say just hello world. And as you can see, it, it shows up like as an admin. And it's different from, let's say, global, where I say the same thing. Okay, I misspelled it, but like you can see like there's a difference here. So like, you know, there's this tag and there's that tag. Uh, this would have been the end of the video, like a very short two minute video. But I decided to well uh, show you guys like something about how to manage the server. So you have teams and players. I think uh, I've showed this in like the actual tutorial. Uh, where I show general controls and like free camp settings, etc, etc. Uh, what we're gonna look at today are these two tabs. So manage bands. I mean, I don't have anyone banned because um, let's be real. Like you usually don't have too many Steam friends that actually heard of this game and actually play it like on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, mainly, it's the match settings that you really, really, really want to uh, meticulously like change. So we're gonna go uh, one by one. Uh, yes, this was um, this was a public server. Nobody really joined. Apply settings to current match. This basically just says that, you know, as the name implies, if you set this to no, basically, if you set anything here, it will not... So, let's say this is turned off, and I set the day to, like, 19 hours. See, it doesn't do anything, because right now it's not night. It's still... It's served by daylight. So it's really simple. If you press yes, and it just changes immediately. I don't want that. Although lighting's on this map is really cool, though, but it gets a little laggy, especially on this map. Um, slow time and weather transition. Also self-explanatory. It just changes the weather and time far slower. Not sure by what amount. It doesn't specify. Although... Yeah, it just says transi uh, transition smoothly. So my guess it's half the time. Server name, whatever. Server description, whatever. Player slots. Now, think about player slots is... Um, okay, not that. But the thing about player slots is you can actually use Cheat Engine and you can te theoretically get infinite amount of player slots. Of course, this is not true because, you know, your, your computer has a finite uh, storage, like finite RAM storage. And... I think it's like usually around 32 to 64 slots where it starts to, you know, start to melt down your PC like Chernobyl. So you don't want that happening. And here's the level. As you can see, we ha I have a lot more levels because you usually will only see uh, this seven levels. 
but I added a lot more levels. Um, some some are like just textures, or I don't know what they're for, but like some are actual maps, some are just weird testing grounds, I guess. And then here's the game mode. Now because um, this is a custom map, there's no other game mode. So let's say we go to Bricksville, exit current match. All right. So let's go here. And then here you can see like there's a lot more game modes. Time day, we already saw that. Now day length, you can, you can change it like, I guess if you make it 30 seconds, it just, oh yeah, it just, it just goes faster. Basically you can set like how long a day is. It's very simple. You can make it infinite, you can make it years. I'm not sure why you need anything more than than like a few hours. This seems a very seems very odd to me. Why would you want to do that? And and I'm also not sure why do you want to have a day that's 30 seconds long and it just switches from day and night. I'm not sure why. Role players purposes. Whatever. Sun elevation. Now this is where it gets really, really, really interesting. So you see, the sun is usually always there. Now, if we tweak it a little bit, let's say the sun elevation. It says that zero sun will pass through the zenith. Let's just put it all the way to zero. As you can see, the sun is moving like straight to the middle. Or, or so somewhat like middle. Yeah, yeah, it's like the sun is kind of like directly in the middle. It's purity for aesthetics and then you can put it all the way to 90 and it just it kind of goes down i think it still gives the same amount of light levels as never mind it is not it does not i guess it's to oh oh wow this is pretty cool i guess this is to imitate like for example uh for example in summer like the days are longer and usually the angle is higher it's like this is not like uh, the sun elevation is not like 90 it's like 30 as it should be and like um, in winter it's like really not three degrees 30 there we go sun direction yeah as it says rotates the path of the sun relative to the world now relative to the world uh, i think if i understand it correctly it's uh, relative to the center of the map oh my god it lags okay so basically the sun elevation changes for that direction, and the uh, and the sun direction it changes to like that direction right there, and like that's sun elevation. I guess that's the difference. Well, not like you're probably gonna need it. It's again purely all for aesthetics. It's nothing really useful. Spawn AI train. This is uh, if there's a train available on a map. Um, you can turn it on or off. This is uh, useful, for example, if you don't want your train to be uh, get absolutely destroyed by the AI train. Vehicle whitelist, it basically just means that you can select a few vehicles from like workshop subscriptions, whatever. And like, um, and like you can, you can kind of select or you can kind of select which ones they can use only, and they can't use anything else. If there's zero selected, that means that they can't spawn anything at all. I think all I think you can still spawn in as the server owner. Yeah, you can. So if uh, if you were let's say somebody who just joined, you wouldn't see this list. It would just be blank. Um, hold on. All right. So I'm gonna turn this off. And there's maximum vehicles per player. For me, it's all unlimited because I don't really play uh, with friends, uh, even if they're on. Like, I, I don't really play Mercury's with friends. And um, on public servers, I just let people do whatever they want. Uh, you can set this to what, whatever you want. Maximum bricks per vehicle. Size. Uh, maximum vehicle size. I think size is just really how long we're like... Um, how long, how big, so how tall, how long a vehicle can be. Oh god, it gets really laggy. It gets really laggy when you try to move it. So you gotta really be careful with that. So just leave it unlimited. Like you can see the frame rate just drop to zero basically. Vehicle mass. Yes, yeah, so in case you forgot, there is actual mass for vehicles. So let's pull out, uh, hmm. What should we pull out? Let's pull out this type. Actually, let's pull out him. 
open an editor, and you can see down there, it's 474,000 kilograms. This thing is 400 tons. So let's say if I set it to 300,000 kilograms, I can't spawn this in. It just doesn't allow me to. Uh, really, really uh, self-explanatory. Allow invincibility. So remember, all the, basically all these settings, it only applies for like the the people who joined the server and have no uh, admin status. Um, maximum dummies. That's for uh, basically when you press, you go free cam, you press B and you spawn in a bunch of dummies. It just limits how many there can be. Uh, usually, like on default, it's uh, unlimited. You also have uh, auto removal. Really useful if you're on like a big server because... Um, it just gets rid of lag for you. You don't have to manually go to the map and like go here, delete, go here, delete. You don't have to do that. It just automatically does it. Like a lot of these features never like existed like before the 1.0 release. Uh, let's see what we left here. Oh, yes. Allow removing vehicles from other players. So you know how you if you let's say spawn in something. So let's say I'm just going to spawn this in. Like you see like there is like remove vehicle, you press R and so if you find any seat of the vehicle, you press R and it's gone. It just kind of gets rid of that. So, you know, people can't really troll with it. Uh, exempt admins from restrictions. This is what I was talking about. So basically all these restrictions, or I mean all these down here, not the weather, uh, all these down here, they will not apply to the admin if, uh, if this is yes. If this is no, then that means that he, they can ignore uh, they can't ignore most rules. Allow respawn any uh, anywhere. You can turn that off. I think that basically means that. Hold on. Let me let me just actually demonstrate the uh, admin restrictions. So no. So basically, like I'm 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 pressing spacebar. You can probably hear it. It doesn't work. Like nothing works. So you can't really respawn anywhere. The only places you can kind of respawn is uh, or teleport is to the editors. That's the default. Um, let me turn that back on. Allow invincibility, very simple. So it allows your vehicle or you to be invincible. Route respawn anywhere. Went through that. Allow free camera. You can turn that off so people can't really look around their surroundings. So if you want a realism RP, like a realism military RP, then you can turn this off. Allow weapons. This basically, again, tur turns off um, all the weapons. Um, all the weapons, so all the machine guns, not just in your inventory, but like in your vehicle as well. Infinite ammo, uh, so vehicles or handguns have infinite ammo, you know, realism RP, allow explosions. This basically, if you turn this off, I think basically you can't even throw grenades. If you, if you throw a grenade, it doesn't explode. It just kind of disappears. Yeah, it just disappears like that. Um... And then there's allow building damage, so, you know, you can just turn that off and basically the entire city is indestructible if you don't want to deal with a bunch of debris. Infinite fuel, uh, it's really useful for a lot of things. For example, let me sp I think I do have a creation that just uses so much fuel, like, so quickly. It's going to be really loud, but, uh, okay, I don't know where it is. It's a spaceship. No, not, no, not these ones. Uh, God damn it! I don't know where it is. A few moments later. All right, here we go. So it's gonna lag a little. I'm actually just gonna pin that here. I'm going to lower the volume because you guys are not gonna hear a thing. Uh, master volume. No, no. There we go. Twenty percent. All right. So for example, this one. I think it was. Uh, yeah, that's the warp drive. Like, see. If I, let's say, turn off uh, infinite fuel, look at the fuel, how it drains. Look how fast it drains. Like, like that just tells you exactly why. Like, it's, it's really useful. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this somewhat short tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next one.